If I watch the first 15 picks of the NBA draft, will I see you picked? That's what I'm hoping. All right, give me the teams that you talked to. What, what did, the, did the Knicks, did you talk to Donnie Walsh or D'Antoni? Um, the highest I heard was six. The lowest I heard was 20. Six to who? Six to the, uh, who was it? The Knicks, I think. Okay. okay. Gives it to Landry. Curry. Up fake, slides back. Fuck it. Would you rather take less money to play in Charlotte or more money to play in New York? Oh, that's a great question. I want to say New York. Curry by Miller. Curry spins around and through after his initial pass was batted away. The opportunity to play in Madison Square Garden every night would be, would be nice. Curry, home fucking there. Curry's taking advantage of this matchup. The left-handed finger roll. Curry electrifying. On the floor. Curry with the steal. Steph Curry. After missing every single Pink Diamond Steph code that was released every single day of the year in 2K15. Don't ask me how the fuck I missed every single one of those bitches. But after missing every single one, I finally get a code that had the name Stephen Curry on it. Because I had accepted the fact that maybe he was just not meant to be a Nick. He was not meant to be put in a Nick jersey, but fuck that shit. Finally got him. He will be put in a Nick jersey. And I actually did get the second one as well. I got the fucking two, so now I can actually keep one and then sell the second one, put Westbrook on the bench and then keep that MT for a throwback Thursday Kobe because I was really running low on MT I had gone out and actually bought Dwight recently I needed a good center and now moving on from the locker code hype is the dynamic episode 2 dynamic updates another update hit last night I think we had two updates now within the last like five days which is really really cool it was something that we had gone over if you guys have not seen it yet check out two brothers gaming channel Robbie was cool enough to invite me to his first episode of the my team community podcast where everybody from the community gets a chance to come on and explain what they really want to see from the game this year and in the future and they'll he'll forward it to the devs so if you guys haven't seen it yet i was on the first one check it out now as of tonight saturday december 12th i have three dynamics that i think you should go out and watch for the rest of the week for the next update because you will make some mt off of it the first one is draymond green yes the infamous player that i fucking love to hate i think he's probably the most annoying nigga on planet earth everybody hate that motherfucker so i just don't have anything to say about him except just go and buy him because you'll make mt off of him he is playing out of his fucking mind right now and he actually will a 2k dev actually said he's a top 10 player in the league Bruh. Shit, I almost shot myself when I read it But that just means he's definitely going to get a boost after all of this In playing at the rate of somebody who's like an 87, 88 overall He's now at 85 If you can pick one up for about 35 to 40,000 I think that's a good look He'll probably shoot up and you can sell him for around 60, 70 Maybe even 80 depending on what goes up on him And him is actually a pretty decent card too you know, Depending on what goes up He could actually be a really really key player on anybody's team Next is Avery Bradley He is actually a hidden gem on the low I mean like look at the stats He is ultimate 3 and D. If he was a 79 overall, he would definitely be on my three gold seed team. He has an 87 three pointer and a 92 on ball defense. And he actually went down last night. Last night, his mid range was higher. His mid range was also like an 88. So even though he did go down, I would still say he's a great card to pick up because he's still been playing really, really well. Like, there's other stuff on him that could get boosted. He's having a really good season. Next up is Reggie Jackson. He's at 80 overall. And I bet you didn't know this, but he's averaging 19 points, four rebounds, six assists, and a steal. He's actually having a killer fucking season. And to be at 80 overall, He's only 10,000 MT. Definitely try and pick one up and hold him until they actually decide to boost him because he is worthy of one. Durant, I always tell people who ask me if they should keep their Dynamic LeBron. Sell Dynamic LeBron because they have no plans to raise him after this many updates. They are just going to probably wait for the TBT or the MVP LeBron to be the higher rated ones. Get Dynamic Durant. He has gotten his first boost since the game has started and he's been in it. He's averaging the most silent 27, 8, 4, 1 on 1 you'd probably ever see and he's probably worthy to be up to near 93, 94. So that's a good investment if you have more MT. Probably try and get him for our own 200 to 250 thousand if you can and that is about it Durant, Reggie Jackson, Draymond Green and Avery Bradley good luck happy merchanting